Hallo, ich bin die Susanne. Ich komme seit 2016 nach Orta zu diesem schönen Lauf. Zehn Marathons in zehn Tagen. Ich laufe immer nur ein bisschen mit. Ich laufe eher Halbmarathons mit. Bin schon auch einen ganzen hier gelaufen und ich finde die Gegend, die Umgebung, das Panorama ist sensationell. Alle Leute sind super freundlich, es ist eine richtige Marathonfamilie und ich bin jedes Mal aufs Neue begeistert, wie sich das alles noch weiterentwickelt und noch weiterentwickelt. So viele Gäste aus so vielen Nationen, so viele Laufbegeisterte, so viele fröhliche, freundliche Leute. Die ganze Crew ist immer super motivierend, die Labestellen sind top. Es gibt immer zu essen, zu trinken, es gibt immer Partys, es wird immer gefeiert und das Schöne ist wirklich, die italienischen Leute haben einfach so eine Lebensfreude und das macht das ganz speziell aus hier in Orte. Ich finde das immer sensationell und ich freue mich immer, jedes Jahr wieder herzukommen. Vom nächsten Jahr aufs nächste Jahr und vielleicht geht es dann ein bisschen länger und ein bisschen fitter und das ist immer wirklich großartig. Es ist auch der Ort der See, ein wunderschönes Panorama, die Laufstrecke ist Grandios, also es ist wirklich immer tipptopp und ich freue mich schon aufs nächste Jahr. Dazu gekommen bin ich durch den Werner, der ist schon noch länger hier, wird er euch erzählen. Ich freue mich aufs nächste Jahr. Vielen Dank für die ganze Organisation. Vielen Dank. Hallo, ich bin Werner Krohr. Ich bin 64 years old. I'm still not yet retired, but soon. Um, and I, my passion is running. Um, now, um, I, I was involved and, um, in, in running for marathons uh, since my 42nd uh, year of birth. And since then I have completed around uh, 30, 20 marathons and a couple of ultra marathons. Um, so uh, why do I like uh, 10 in 10? So this is a very special format of running, which I was not aware that it even exists back in 2014, the year when I first found out um, that there is such a thing here in Italy taking place. By chance, I looked up um, for an event here and then I came across a YouTube video uh, from the president of the Club Super Marathon Italia and he was walking around the race route with his camera taking pictures and the video, how nice it is very close to the lake shore and I was from the very moment for the very first moment I got interested in that so I decided to come here and uh, signed up for the 10 in 10 but 10 in 10 I was not even sure if I can ever do this because I had no experience with that and maybe many of the participants back then did not have the experience we did some maybe you know uh, two days, three days of running in a row, but not a 10 day challenge, which is really a different animal. So then um, I decided to, to come here and I tried it. My approach was maybe I do five of them, but I wasn't sure if it will work. And at the end, by surprise, um, I was able to do all 10. And this was from this moment on, I, I was hooked with this format. And I'm now one of the three uh, runners here who have been uh, participating in all nine editions so far. Um, I think the format was uh, only known in the UK as far as I, I know back then. And now you can see how, how many of those um, events pop up in different countries in Europe. And I think really um, it's fair to say that Orta really um, was instrumental to get this popular and that it spreads now over different countries in Europe. So we have started um, in Austria, I'm also Austrian, so in, in Austria I think uh, in 2015 with, or 16 with a, with a similar format, 10 and 10, and then you could see it in other countries, Germany and so, um, where, where, where such events become available. And I think um, the, the order format became a template for others, which is good because you can see it helps us uh, to improve and to uh, enhance our sports. But on the other hand, you can also see um, that it is becoming more popular and people are really want to challenge themselves in this kind of 10-day uh, of, of running events. 
Um, now it's, uh, I think, the, the ninth edition um, that we almost complete uh, in, in, in tomorrow. And next year we'll have the Jubilee uh, um, edition here, which is also quite interesting. I, I have plans, of course, to come back also here for the 10th edition next year. I think the interesting thing also is um, the, the evolution of this uh, event over the time. Yeah, I mean, you need to, as an as an race organizer, you need to improve things over time, of course. And we have seen this every year. Every year, something new came in, on top of what was already available. And at the end of the day, we will see that um, this is also um, uh, copied by other uh, uh, race organizations, which is good because, again, what I said is that the standard is set here. The innovation is, I think, is fair to say, is taking place here in Orta. And um, this is the good thing. Um, we, we need to improve our sports and people are spending 10 days of their precious vacation time with running. So it's important to have something that is always interesting and, bring, and, and offer something new to, to people, right? And um, so that's why I'm also planning to come back next year. And I, I, I'm already looking forward to that. <laughs>